GGG, you already know, it's your boy Joe, back at it again, man, codingphase.com, listen guys, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like this video, man, so the topic of today is, basically I saw this video from Tim Cook, he's the CEO of Apple, right, and he basically said, you know what, you know why there's not that many female engineers, why there's not that many female developers, and I agree with him, his answer is, there's no required coding class. There's nothing that interests, introduces them to basically, you know, the most basic side of coding. You know, just regular stuff like functions, you know. I mean, I've seen it in some math classes where they teach you a little bit of, like, you know, a little bit of functions of how they work, but not in a programming way. They don't come in and say, hey, guys, today we're going to learn JavaScript or you know, something super simple, like, hey, guys, we're going to learn today Ruby, which is the easiest programming language in the world, right? So they don't come up with a, a class that is like a, a required class in any college or any high school or junior high school. You know, sometimes we take classes where we're like, oh, poetry or fucking, you know, I don't know, like fucking... <laughs> environmental sciences and and like little bullshit like that right you know even the science is great whatever but i remember taking a course where it was like the whole course was about talking about guppies and you know the ecosystem which is great and then i'm like yeah but what about you know coding what about how things are made we're living in the 21st century and it feels like nobody knows what's going on. And I'm talking about the general population. It's like they use certain products. They use iPhones. They use laptops. They use fridges, right? They use their fridge, which could be connected to the internet nowadays, right? Or they're using Alexa, right? And nobody understands how these things are made. What if they had an introduction to coding or introduction to computer science in junior high school what if that was a requirement don't you guys think that there will be more girls interested into it because the problem is that if nobody shows it to you there's no way that you're going to be interested on this when you grow up or when you're like an, an, an adult if your mom or dad is not a developer or have any type of background in math and science, most likely you're not going to be interested in this because you don't see this as a option for you, right? So I think if more girls were to go into a class where they were required to just take it, we're not talking about some advanced class where people, we don't want this to become calculus. Like, you know, some people hate going to, on you know, algebra and then, jump into calculus and they're like, oh, I hate this. I hate math and this and that, right? We're not talking about that. We're talking about the most simplest things, right? The most simplest things of like, let's create a variable. Let's create a function that adds two numbers. Let's create a function that prints our name. Like little things like that can actually spark an interest in somebody and tells them like, hey, let's build a small little website. Let's build a, a small app, you know, with no JS and I guess the electron or something else, right? With a, you know, ras what is it, raspberry pie or some shit like that? <laughs> With the pie little thingy. Sorry, I'm freaking, <laughs> it's just funny to say that. But yeah, and just like create like a little robot that just moves the arm. Something that's gonna catch their interest and be like, oh man, maybe I could do this. Maybe if I continue studying this, I can actually become an engineer. Maybe I could learn something new. You know, I think this is very important, you know, so I definitely agree with him on what he said here. And I'm going to put this on the description. I want you guys to take your time and also look through it. And yeah, watch the video. It's pretty cool. I like seeing Tim Cook. Uh, I know a lot of people be like, man, he's not Steve Jobs. And that's fine. He don't have to be Steve Jobs. He's Tim Cook. You know, like, there's a reason why he's up there. There's a reason why he used to work with Steve Jobs. Like, 
this guy, he's also the man. It's just, you know, he has a different vision for Apple. But anyway, that's another video. All right, guys, so I'm going to see you guys later. Wow. Hey, guys, if you really enjoyed this video, listen, take one second of your time. Subscribe to the channel. Right. Click on the notification, which is the little bell right here. Click on that. Click on send me all the notifications from this channel so you don't miss any of the live videos that we do here. It's a huge community that we have here. Make sure you subscribe. Trust me, guys. I guarantee you guys are going to love this channel. All right? Then from there, whenever you have time, look at the description. In every video, I have basically links to my website where I have courses that you can either buy, subscribe. You have courses that are free. Five dollars. Okay? <laughs> That's what I have to say. Five dollars. Come on, guys. Reminding you of all the courses that are there. And also the fact that you got to subscribe to your boy. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Bye.